very, very important um, in our system. One of the reasons is that, yeah, uh, adult man, 60% of his body is, is water. Um, a baby, 75% of the baby's body is water. Our, um, our brain's 85% water. Our whole circulation, um, blood circulation and lymph system, all of that is really dependent on a, on a good um, hydrated body. And so we need to be well hydrated. On a daily basis, we need to drink enough water. Do you constantly feel tired? Do you struggle with dry skin? Do you constantly feel thirsty even though you're drinking water? Do you fear the fact that you may be a victim of cancer somewhere in the future? Do you struggle with a low libido or moodiness? Are you tired of drinking contaminated tap water? Are you tired of spending money on bottled water? Well, today I want to tell you a story of something that happened in our lives. Very recently, I went for a live blood analysis. And when the person that took my blood looked at my blood, he said that I'm dehydrated. And I said, that is impossible because I drink at least four to five of these glasses of water per day. And I use a KDF filter, the normal filter that you can put on your zinc. And why would I be dehydrated? And it was incredible. The water that I was drinking, my body did not take up. So I went to the toilet a lot. So my body just excreted all the water that I was taking in. So that tells me the water that I was drinking wasn't sufficient for my body. I then changed to a water filtering system, a different one. And you would not believe the results. The results was magnificent. I had better energy levels. I had dry skin here on the top of my forehead. I had dry skin here at the bottom of my lips. I had dry skin next to my nose and on my cheeks. And I couldn't understand. I live a healthy lifestyle. Why do I have dry skin? And when I changed to this different water filtering system, my skin started to clear up, the dry skin. It started to disappear. I had better energy levels, and I thought I was normal. I thought my energy levels was normal, but yet it wasn't. So today I want to tell you about the water filtering system that changed our lives. But before I go there, I first want to share with you the benefits of drinking water. It has been proven that drinking water regularly can actually increase your physical endurance by 80%. And this has been found um, during a study that they did with athletes running marathons. And then also, of course, if you drink a glass of water every 10 minutes, you can actually help to reduce a headache and even take it away completely. And then also drinking a glass of water every 10 minutes can take away the threatening cold before it takes effect on your body. And then also drinking water every 10 minutes can also ensure that your brain are clear and that you think better. And then drinking water on a regular basis will actually take away tiredness and a lack of concentration. One of my pet subjects is, is, is the brain and there's a great effect that water has on the brain. 85% of our brain is, is water. Now we find that, that water has got a profound effect on, on brain function. Your brain needs oxygen all the time. It needs glucose there all the time and it needs water. Now the, the, the blood takes the oxygen via the red blood cells. It takes the glucose via Via the, um, via the bloodstream. And so what happens if, if I'm dehydrated, it means that the oxygen can't get to the brain. It means that the water can't get to the brain. So that's going to dehydrate the brain. But mainly our, our brain's going to start from glucose. And this is really the only uh, food that your brain can use is, is, is glucose derived from starches. Uh, and, and carbohydrates and now the problem is when I get dehydrated my body goes and looks for water all over the place and it would derive it back from these cells so it would go and pull the, the, the water out of these cells but what do you think what goes with it when it takes the, the water out of the cell again it takes the glucose with it and what is the result I'm going to feel tired 
I'm going to feel sleepy. I'm going to have poor concentration. Um, the, you know, the, the, the neurotransmitters in the areas where the neuro um, communication takes place, those environments change because of the concentration and not the enough water. And so it means that those communication is, is really compromised. No good communication because it's, it's electrical, chemical uh, environments. And we, you know, if you know a little bit of science or chemistry, you know that you need a certain environment to make these things spark a certain way. If it gets concentrated because of dehydration, you really would find the brain not working optimally. I've seen a student really suffering in, in, a, in, a, in an exam. And the moment I put a glass of water in front of him and he downed the glass, minutes later I saw him starting to write. Later he came back to me and he said, Sir, I, I don't know how to thank you. You saved my life because after I drank the water, I really, I really could just feel things work. Things came out. There was no special potion in the water. There was no crypt notes in the water. He drank the water. The brain just sparked as it should. And that has a profound effect on, on our whole being. Water is very, very important. So why must we filter our water? Why not just drink tap water? We have so many problems with our water today, especially tap water. It's horrific, the kind of things that you can find in city water today. You can find dyes in the water. For what reason, who knows? You find fluoride in your water. You can find chlorine in the water and all sorts of other contaminants. Um, a lot of times you find drug residues and those type of things from the water sources or where water has basically been recycled. You can actually find them in groundwater. And it's ideal for us to filter those substances out because they do collect in our bodies and they do sit in our systems and it's hard to get them out. And especially with a lack of alkalinity, which we generally have in today's day and age, it is very hard for our body to mobilize those agents out of our body safely. And so they sit and they can cause all sorts of other problems. So it's ideal to filter your water with a good filtering system. It is important to drink the best source of water. Um, I've got a saying uh, that, that says any water is better than no water, but the water is in such a poor state at the moment that one needs to do some thing to just try and get the water purer. Um, a good reverse osmosis system is really the answer where it will take out all the impurities, um, you know, most of the chemicals would be taken out. We, we have got a big problem with the, um, the metals in, in, in water. And so that would be leached as well with, with um, you know, a few phase system. So we, we would really encourage people to, to have filtered water. A lot of chemicals are taken out. The, the bad odors of water is taken out by it. The, um, the taste really is enhanced by it. So, you know, people, they don't want to drink water when they taste good, pure water. They, they find it's, it's really a pleasure to drink. It's not like a burden to drink water. Um, water intake, very, very important. One of the big reasons why I would suggest for somebody to get a water filtering system is the chlorine in the water. If we even put aside the other issues. Because so many people today struggle with their thyroid. And some people, unbeknownst to them, struggle with their thyroid gland. And the chlorine just totally messes up things. And so definitely from that standpoint alone, I would say get chlorine free and fluoride free. And start, filter, start filtering your water. You will notice a difference in your health. Your health will improve, maybe not in a day or three, but over a period of a month and two, you will definitely notice an improvement in your health. Water is, you see, food only makes a 20% difference in our nutrition. We get the rest of our nutrients and the rest of our well-being actually depends on our water and our air. So if only 20% comes from our, of our well-being comes from our food, you can see what a big role our air and our water play. So if your water is not able, if your water is actually bringing more toxins into your body, your body cannot sufficiently and effectively flush out the toxins that it's already fighting and struggling with. The problem is the chlorine they put into the water today. Now years back it was beneficial because it killed bacteria. 
But now the side effects show that it's not beneficial to drink water with chlorine in it. Firstly, chlorine can cause cancer. And secondly, your thyroid is affected. How many people today struggle with thyroid problems? Now what happens is your thyroid takes up iodine and that makes the thyroid work. So if I drink chlorinated water, the chlorine in the water actually blocks the thyroid from absorbing the iodine. Then you would struggle with moodiness, you will struggle with depression, you will struggle with fatigue and a low libido. And now for married couples, if one of the partners struggles with a low libido, that has a serious effect on your marriage. So chlorinated water isn't good for us. It has negative side effects. I want to read a couple of statements for you and it says the following. Long-term drinking of chlorinated water appears to increase a person's risk of developing bladder cancer as much as 80% according to the Journal of the National Cancer Institute. The drinking of chlorinated water has finally been officially linked to an increased incidence of colon cancer. An epidemiologist at Oak Ridge Associated Universities completed a study of colon cancer victims and non-cancer patients and concluded that the drinking of chlorinated water for 15 years or more was conducive to a higher rate of colon cancer, according to the Health Freedom News, January, February 1987. Cancer risk among people using chlorinated water is as much as 93% higher than among those whose water does not contain chlorine. U.S. Council of Environmental Quality. So it clearly tells us that we need to filter our water. And one common factor among women with breast cancer is that they all have 50 to 60% higher levels of these chlorination byproducts in their fat tissue than women without breast cancer, according to the breastcancerfund.org. So what water filtering system do we use? Which system changed our lives? And it's the reverse osmosis water filtering system. We implement it in our home. We added some Himalayan salt because the, the system is so good, it takes all the minerals out of it too. So we put the minerals back by adding Himalayan salt. And you couldn't believe the difference in our lives. Even in my wife's life, this has made a big difference. I was diagnosed with lupus, which is an autoimmune disease in November 2005. And one of the things that I had to incorporate into my lifestyle was to drink water. Before I was diagnosed, I hardly drank any water. And then in my journey of healing, I discovered and I learned how important water is for the body. So I started to drink water as a means to actually treat my body and to help my body to heal. And this actually helped me a great much for a long period of time. But unfortunately, I still experienced many dips where I go, would go through phases where I would have l loss of energy. I would still feel very tired and I just didn't feel so vibrant and full of health. And that's when we started to do some research where I actually found that the quality of your water is essential for you to have um, complete health. Even for someone that are not ill, you need to look at the quality of water that you are drinking. So that's, what, that's when we basically started to filter our water through the RO system, adding the, the Himalayan salt to our water. And I, can just, I just couldn't believe the dramatic change that happened in my life and in my health when I started to filter my water through the RO system and adding the Himalayan salt for minerals to my water. It greatly enhanced my energy levels. My health just went to the next level and I can just keep on going and keep up with people that live a very fast-paced life. So what is reverse osmosis? It is a process where a solvent passes through a porous membrane in the direction opposite to that for natural osmosis when subjected to a hydrostatic pressure greater than the osmotic pressure. The key to the reverse osmosis system it is the membrane in the system. The system that we are using is a five-stage system. So you have three pre-filters, then the membrane, and the membrane is the key. That separates the last molecules that you do not want in your water. That membrane separates from the clear water, the pure water you want to drink. And that makes reverse osmosis so special. 
So how does it work? The seawater or impure water is pushed down one side and only the smaller water molecules are able to pass through and all the bigger viruses, bacteria, and other impurities cannot pass through the membrane. So the membrane is the key. This makes it really, really special. And do you know what the, the amazing fact is? That when they developed the reverse osmosis system, they actually got the concept from the seagull. The seagull can live far away from fresh water, but yet it will be hydrated. How does the seagull do this? The seagull has a membrane in its throat that separates the salt content in the water from the pure water. It spits out the salt content and it drinks the pure water. So it's ha it has a membrane in its throat. And that's the same concept with the reverse osmosis. It's the process of desalination where they separate the salt content from the water. And therefore you get pure water. It's not just salt, it's not just seawater, it is normal tap water. If you look at the water that in the town that I live in, Rafisuna in, sometimes when you make a bucket full of water, it is brown. Sometimes when you run the bath, it is brown. My friends, I don't want to drink that water. I want to drink pure water. So let me just explain to you quickly the five stages of the reverse osmosis system. Firstly, you have the first filter, which is called the, the five micron sediment filter. Then you have the granular activated carbon filter. Then you have the catalytic activated carbon filter. Then the RO membrane. And then you have the post carbon filter. And more specifically, they call the first filter the PP filter. This filter removes the particles, dust, mud, and sand in water. And the service life for this filter is about three to six months. Because people will ask the question, how often must I change the filters? So the first filter can last up to six months. The second filter, the granular carbon filter, removes the chlorine, the organics, the odor smell, and the turbidity, etc. And that filter can last up to a year, 6 to 12 months. So it has a long lifespan. The third filter, the carbon block filter, removes the chlorine, odor smell, and suspending particles. And that can also last up to 12 months, 6 to 12 months. So the first three filters, you probably have to change once a year. And it will cost you less than 150 Rand for all three together. And all you do is you screw the one out and you put the other one in. It is so easy. Once a year, 150 Rand or less. That is incredible value. Then the RO membrane is the fourth stage in the RO filter. Now this removes the bacteria, heavy metals, salt, bad mineral substance and other dissolved matter and chemical drugs in the running water which we want to drink. And the membrane can last between one to five years then you have to replace it. It is incredible value once again. And then the last filter, the post carbon filter, it just adjusts the taste of the water. And that filter can last up to a year also. So here you can see the amazing investment this RO system really is. So let me just explain to you quickly the process of the reverse osmosis. It is a separation process that uses pressure to force a solution through a semi-permeable membrane that retains the solute on one side and allows the pure solvent to pass to the other side. Because molecules of salt are physically larger than water molecules, the membrane blocks the passage of salt particles. The end result is desalinated water on one side of the membrane and a highly concentrated saline solution of water on the other side. In addition to salt particles, the reverse osmosis process removes a select number of drinking water contaminants, depending upon the physical size of the contaminants. The RO process in effect removes almost all of the particulate matter and most of the dissolved organic components. So this system really removes everything. Now what would happen is you would need up to two, between 2 to 17 bars of water pressure for the system to work properly. But we recommend that if your water pressure is three bars or under three bars, then you need a pump with the system. Where we live, we live on a slight hill, 
we need a pump. We have a pump with our reverse osmosis system to help to push the water through the membrane so that we can have pure running water on the other side. But when we lived in our previous house, a little bit more downtown, we didn't need the pump. So just find out in your local town, and it's most cities and towns have three bars or more of pressure, but just found out, find out in your town if you need the pump. And if you live on a farm, the chances are very good you're going to need a pump. It's just a few rands more to get the pump, but you can contact us and we will tell you the prices and explain it, etc. So let me get back to the fact of putting the minerals back into the water. Okay, well, first of all, the reverse osmosis water is pretty much dead water. So the salt is actually putting electrical conductivity back into the water. And along with the Himalayan crystal salt, you've got 84 ionic minerals. Now the form of those ionic minerals enables that water, along with the salt, to pass through the cell membrane with ease. So that when you drink ordinary water, let's say reverse osmosis water, or water that is in the wrong form for your body, you don't generally hydrate the cells, but you can, depending on the person's physiology, you can actually have a situation where you have too much intercellular uh, water collecting, and then you have edema and all those type of things. And that's typically also the situation where you have a diabetic, where they can't get the water into the cell. So although this is not glucose attached with the water to go into the cell, it is the salt acts as a carrier to get the water into the cell. So you have a better hydration and it's just totally different. You have more energy as well because now you've got electrolytes along with the water. So the, your electrical conductivity in automatically increases when you use Himalaya crystal salt with your water. When we use um, reversed osmosis water, and that's really your, your, your purest form, there is a bit of a challenge with it that the water could become too pure because it would leach out even your minerals. So you would sit with a uh, yeah, pure water, but it's uh, a dead water. And you know, all the organisms that, that God has given us, you know, the way we eat the things we eat, you know, it's, it's life. It should be alive. And water should be alive in us. So to really just put life back to water, we found that if you would just add a little bit of Himalayan rock salt to the reversed osmosis water that it really puts back those minerals and um, here is an example uh, we've got these 10 day um, health courses that we run and so students would come from all over the world to our program they would stay in with us we will give them water and then we've tested this we would give them uh, prepared water where the water has got some um, minerals put back and you would find something interesting they don't have to run every five minutes to the to the little loo to 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 pass water then we've had another group where we've not given them uh, prepared water we just gave them pure reverse osmosis water and you would find these guys they have to run every now and then you know, it's like the water is just flushing through. So it's really a good idea to get this, you know, dead water. Just get it alive by just putting a wee little one. But now, you know, to give you an idea, if you have a liter of water, if you take a matched head crystal uh, of Himalayan rock salt and you put that in, it would not change the water's taste. You would not even notice a difference but a lot of the minerals is just put back, the water comes alive, and uh, you know, we've, we've seen examples of the dead water and how the crystals look like under a micros microscope, and then those that are just prepared, well, just that little bit of MLI rock salt, minerals back, you see the whole structure of this water just changes, unbelievable. Water is such an amazing thing. It is a wonder remedy. For, uh, for our bodies. If I were to take two glasses of reverse osmosis water, the one contains Himalayan rock salt, which is freely available. This chem, most shops has this healthy salt, which has 84 trace minerals in it. It is incredible salt. It's very good salt. If I have RO water, reverse osmosis, short, shortly means RO, 
that's the abbreviation, the RO water, without Himalayan salt. And next to it, I have reverse osmosis water with Himalayan salt. Or I can have on this side tap water or a KDF filtered water. But that's the difference. The one has salt and the one doesn't have salt. If I were to drink, and I've tested it, that's how the guy sold the RO system to me. He put two glasses of water in front of me. The one has RO water, no salt, pure H2O. The other one has R is RO water with Himalayan rock salt, according to taste, just a pinch. Or if it's a liter, a little bit more. If it's a two liter, a little bit more, according to your taste. My wife takes more than I do in a glass. So what I did was I took a sip of the RO water that didn't have the salt in. And the guy told me to concentrate on my throat. And I did. And what I realized is I actually have to swallow the water. It's not a process that just happened naturally because I finally concentrated on what I was drinking. Then I took a sip of the RO water with the salt in. And amazing, my throat just opened up and the water went down. And what was explained to me is the following. Your tongue has receptors on it. And when your tongue tells your brain within a millisecond that water is coming in, the brain then tells the throat to open up. But when you just have RO water or tap water, then, or even the KDA filtered water, when you drink it, your tongue tells your brain water is coming down and the brain says, this is not water, you have to swallow. Then when you take the water with the salting, with the minerals, the active minerals, if you take a sip of that, the tongue tells the brain, water is coming down and the brain says, yes, this is water. And he opens up the throat himself. And then your body takes up the water because it recognizes the minerals in the water and therefore you will be hydrated. It is incredible. So the glass test tells me RO water with salt is almost perfect water. And another positive thing is RO water with Himalayan rock salt makes you alkaline. And when your body is in an alkaline state, you will not get diseases. When you are acidic, you're setting yourself self up for disease. So it is incredible. If you just drink water with salt, you can already push your body more alkaline. So it is very beneficial to have this water, the salt in the water. Now I want to share two statements with you. The physical surroundings in the cities are often a peril to health. The constant liability to contact with disease, the prevalence of foul air, impure water, impure food, the crowded, dark, unhealthful dwellings are some of the many evils to be met. So if we are living in cities and big towns, the impure water is an evil that we have to meet. This is inspired writings telling us that the water in our days it is not pure to drink anymore. Another quote says, You should not for one moment give place to an impure covered suggestion. For even this will stain the soul. Talking about your spirituality. As impure water defiles the channel through which it passes. So a thought pondered upon, an evil thought that should not be there, evil suggestion, is just as bad as impure water in the system so we need good fresh clean water and i have great news at this moment what will a system like this cost you a five stage reverse osmosis system it will easily cost you between 2800 to 6000 rand i was quoted over 3000 rand the very first time i heard about the system but i want to tell you the good news we are not just out to make a profit. We want to help people out there. We want people to live healthy lives. This is why this uh, health section is called Practical Health Solutions. We want to give you solutions to the problem. At this moment, we are selling the reverse osmosis system for under 2,000 Rand. That is amazing value. You will save up to 2,000 Rand on the system. This, of course, excludes courier costs. The courier will depend, the cost will depend 
upon how many systems is sent to a certain area. The water filters are affordable. Today there's so many to choose from and the RO system with the five stage uh, filtration system is definitely a wonderful way to start and filter, filter your water and just increase the health of your family. You will notice a visible difference. Uh, you know, depending on where you are at health-wise right now, but you are going to find you're going to see a difference in your loved ones and yourself. So contact us, phone us at plus two seven eight three nine double six one two double four. Plus two seven eight three nine double six one two double four. Or send us an email at ro system at practicalhealthsolutions.org RO system at practicalhealthsolutions.org or visit our website www.practicalhealthsolutions.org www.practicalhealthsolutions.org and you will get all the information you need on our website. So I just want to reaffirm that we have a problem. Impure water causes disease in us. It causes cancer and it can really cause you to have big thyroid problems. But you can have the solution today. You can have the solution at great value today. The reverse osmosis system. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.